Hey guys, we're working on a Chevy Venture. Uh, we're doing the back brakes in this episode, guys. Uh, let me just quickly tell you one or two things. So, I mean, when jacking up a car, uh, we're gonna skip that part in this video, but make sure it's safe. Make sure you lift it by the frame, not by the rockers, especially if they're rusty. Uh, you can see the front brake video. I show better about jacking in that one. Okay, let's get started right away. So first thing you wanna do is get the drum off. If it's stuck, then you grab a hammer, and I mean, you can even grab a big sledgehammer, and you just whack it really, really hard. In our case, it's already ready to come off. And guys, this is easy, easy stuff, especially on the Chevy Venture. It's got a pretty easy setup back here. So our drums look good. Uh, nothing really going on here. I mean, these shoes look good too, but there is a reason I'm changing them. It's because I bought super duper cheap ones. Like I'm talking, the cheapest ones you guys can buy. Uh, this is from the other side, which I already did. Let me just go in the garage and show you what happened with this. Okay, so here it is, and the front pads also only lasted a year and they completely worn out. And the rotors I got from the same place, also cheap for the front. They were literally falling apart. They are so rusted for no reason whatsoever. So look at this rear shoe, watch this. It like unglued from this. That's not supposed to move, guys. This is honestly dangerous. So this could fall off and it could literally lock up your back wheel while you're driving. So do not buy cheap brakes. So I basically got a year out of these. Buy mid-grade or premium brakes. They're only double the price. Totally, totally worth it. I'm going to keep this one just for the future and I might even make an episode about just this. Okay, let's get back to the brakes. Okay guys, so I mean, this really isn't hard on this car. So there's a spring right here. So you just have to disconnect it right there. You can use a pair of uh, needle nose pliers and you just slide it off of here. So there you go. So now what you do is when you take this thing off, see like this, you basically, everything you take off, you put it on the ground exactly the way you took it off so you don't forget get it so that's where that goes okay next um we're gonna take these things here it's like a spring and it goes all the way down here and then it goes on that side in there so we just have to like pull these out um you know like like get them out we can even use these again um like so and these will just pop right out guys see what i mean nothing to it there so we got it out see it comes out of that hole we'll do the same thing on the other side okay we got that out okay so now this right pad will just come right out see just like that might even might even have to hold this a little bit here So now same thing, we put this down just the way we took it out. And this little guy uh, goes like this into there. See this, this like lines up. So that goes like so. See that's how that goes. Okay, next we're gonna take this part out. So yeah, it's not even held on by anything. You just, you just pull it out. See, just like that. See, so that's how that goes in there. Not like this, but like this. Uh, I mean, it all makes sense, right? Because the way that is, seeing that, so that will go in there. Like so. So then that's what we do. We just leave it like this. So this part, we're gonna have to re-grease and clean up. That's what adjusts the brakes as they wear out. Okay, now to get this side out. Okay, so this part here is for the emergency brake. So we should be able to get this right out of the pad and leave it on the car. That's the idea. See, so we got the pad out. See, so this can just stay in here. That's for the emergency brake. 
Okay, so now we just do the same thing. We put this down. So now we know how everything goes. See, that's all, that's all there is to it. The spring stays in here and this stays. If this happens to come out on you, uh, it goes like this, see? So that's that, guys. And guys, just so it's not like a fluke that, that this unglued, look. So this is also unglued. It moves. And so is this one. So these are these are all defective. Like these rivets aren't tight enough and this should be glued as well and it's not. So these are all absolute garbage. These are dangerous. So we're getting some good quality brake shoes from Napa guys. Uh, these these will last you 10 years. It's there's no savings by getting the cheap ones. This is great great shoes. Okay, let's put them side by side with the old ones. Okay, see, and then we just put them side by side like this. So basically we know exactly how this is gonna go. Um, whatever you do, do guys, don't get an air compressor and blow on this. This dust is extremely it's like poisonous to, to you. So, I mean, you could use brake cleaner and clean it. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna leave it in there. Not a big deal. Okay, let's start putting this back together, guys. Okay guys, so first things first, this thing has to operate smoothly 100%. This has to spin and this has to spin freely, which in our case it is. So you basically, you take it apart, uh, you take this completely out. You could use any seeds or you could use like uh, just grease, right? Heavy duty grease. Okay, so you give this a wipe. You might want to use a wired brush if yours is rusted. In our case, it all looks pretty good. So we just give it some wipes like that. Okay, let's get some grease. Okay, we got some heavy duty grease. You put some on your finger, just like that, right? Put some on here. You can put a little bit in there and then that screws in. Some of these threads are backwards. So don't mix up the left side and the right side. See, it like goes, you spin it backwards for it to go in. So that could be a problem for somebody if they don't know. So you screw that in about halfway for now. Okay, and then this part here, you just take your grease, go like that, go like this. And there you go. So this thing is ready. Let's go put this back on. Okay, we got our nice new brake shoe. So the emergency part's gotta go into that hole, right? That goes in there. See, that was easy. And then what we gotta do is just get the spring out here. Okay, we're super close and the bottom part has to go in just, there we go. See, and now this will just pop right in here, guys. There. Okay, so this pad is in, or this shoe is in. See, now the thing, this is kind of like wobbling around. So the thing that keeps this in place is when you put this guy in, right? So it would go in this way, not this way. So this part, um, or sorry, yeah, it'll go like this. So you want that to slide in like that. You get what I'm saying? And then that slides in here and that keeps that uh, emergency brake part from, from moving around. See, so now it's staying where it's supposed to stay. Okay, let's get the other shoe on now, guys. Okay guys, we got the other shoe. So basically same thing. The bottom here has to line up with this part and the top's gonna line up with this. Um, just like that. And this part goes in right here. See how there's this thing. So that goes like that. See what I mean? And this part up here, so it doesn't go this way. It actually spins around and it goes like this. So that's how that one goes. Okay, let's put this on. So same thing, we gotta get this spring 
out of the way. That's probably the hardest part, but honestly, it's not hard in this car. This is a lot better than those little pin things that usually cars have. Okay, there's that. So that's in. Okay guys, so now you'll notice that this thing is kind of like dangly and it doesn't really want to stay in. Well, that's because we got to put that spring in. So we'll do that right now. That spring just basically, one end of it goes in right here like so. And then the other side, we're gonna stretch onto this little guy here. Okay. Okay, so we're almost done, but not quite yet. So now we just gotta straighten these out. So like this, this gotta go up a little bit. Uh, that might go down a tiny bit. Like, you know what I mean here? Let me just show you guys. Right, so this just needs to go. Just so everything is lined up nice. Okay, so these look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And now what you gotta do, guys, so this part here, remember the part that I showed you that expanded and, and closed? So we just have to expand a little bit. So you take a screwdriver and, um, apologize for the sunlight, but so you just spin this. Just gotta open it a bit, just so right here, it's just pushing on the pad. There, now it's pushing it open. I can feel it got a little bit harder to turn. So that might be okay now. So now what we got to do is you take your drum just like this and you put it on. Uh, just remember, you do got to center those, those uh, shoes out. So you put it on, right? And now the problem is you do have to adjust them. So there's way too much space. You basically want to get these, these out to the point where you can barely get this thing on, right? Like right now there's tons of space, right? They got like, you know, lots of movement here. So we got to keep opening that up. There's two ways of doing it. One way is you take a screwdriver and you just spin this little thing. And with every spin, it opens up a little bit more. So you would do like one, two, Three, and then you would try it again and see how it fits. And it's still very, very loose. See, like, look at all the movement it has. But it's definitely getting better. Okay, and another way to adjust this is you get yourself a partner, and they're gonna go inside the car, and they're gonna press the the, the brake pedal. But they're not. It's not like you're bleeding the brakes. You're just pressing it like a little bit, and you're letting it go all the way. Pressing it a little bit and you're gonna let it go all the way. And as you're doing that. So see, as the pedal was being pressed, it was doing the same thing, it was spinning that. And the reason it does that is because there's nothing to stop these pads from expanding because the drum's not on. So it thinks they're worn out and then it expands that top part. So that way these, these uh, shoes, they sit a little bit further out to make up for the wear. So that's that's what that thing is for. It, it adjusts the shoes as they wear out. So what we gotta do is adjust it to the point where we can barely get that drum on. So I'm gonna keep expanding this and trying the drum. I'll do that probably five times. Once it's tight, I'll show you guys. Yeah, so I determined I still got ways to go here, so. All right, let's try that. Pretty tight now, so right, so I'm getting it on. See, like it's it's tight. So I got it on, and it's kind of rubbing here and there. I think it's as tight as it can be. I'm even thinking I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put it a little bit back just to open it. See, it's, it's just borderline tight. I mean, it could be good. It's supposed to rub a little bit, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn it the opposite way. 
uh, just a few clicks. So what you do is you take a screwdriver and you bend this like that. And then when you got that bent, then you can spin that down. Um, I'll put the camera down. Okay, I apologize if you can't see it. Um, see, just one, two little turns. Like I went maybe five teeth back. That's it. Okay, that should be good. Let's put the drum on. There. I'm gonna say that's perfect, guys. Okay, guys, now you know how to do your brakes, your rear brakes on a Chevy Venture and you know not to buy cheap ones. Thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage. In the description, there's a few other videos on this van. Front brakes, head gasket, intake manifold, fuel rails. Um, check them out. Thanks for watching, subscribe. I love Problem Solver Garage. Me too.